Hi ladies, this is Amber Mellon and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And a big thank you and hi to all the ladies who are already subscribed to my channel. Recently subscribed to my channel, girl. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Um, thank, thank you to all the ladies who are following me on Instagram. I definitely appreciate it, all right? So, um, yes, I'm finally back making a video for you guys. This week has been rough. Um, you ladies know that I'm living that hashtag no days off life and I'm really I'm starting to feel it and it's only been three weeks and I have a lot more to go before I let go of my part-time job so yeah I have at least about six months to go so just keep me in prayer <laughs> and pray for my strength but um, I'm still committed to my YouTube channel you know because it's something I'm passionate about it's something that I love to do so yeah it might take me a little um, later in the week to get a video uploaded but here we are so today's video um, is just a video about some things that I've had an aha moment last week and I'm gonna be changing some things with my services and my salon suite so the reason for this change is because ladies I really enjoy um, cutting hair and then I really really enjoy cutting men's hair so my aha moment last week and I was looking at some videos um, you know on men's grooming you know just some things that I could you know step up my game with my male clients and it was just like a aha moment um, went off in my brain it was like duh Amber why don't you rebrand yourself as your salon your salon suite being a men's grooming studio or a men's grooming lounge I really don't know what I'm gonna call it yet but I'm gonna slowly uh, you know re kind of rebrand myself and center my services around what I love to do and a lot of times when we're in hair school we're taught that you know if we ever open a hair salon you know we need to offer color services we need to offer hair cutting we need to offer this this that like a whole menu of things and sometimes it's kind of hard you know when you're doing everything you know when you have a lot of things it's hard to like oh talk to women who want color you know talk to women who want chemical services talk to women who like short hair talk to women who like weaves talk to women who like blowouts talk to men talk to people who want makeup you know that's a lot of different markets you know and you know when I went on uh, YouTube just looking at things of how I can step up step up my game and some of my peers in the hair industry who do men I was just like Amber, you know, when you love to cut hair and you love to cut men's hair, you know, why not center your services around that to really dig deep into what you love to do and really be happy and just, I mean, I'm happy with what I do. I love what I do. But, you know, I don't have a lot of color clients. I'll, so in my salon, what I'm going to do is I'm not giving my female clients the boot. The, the female clients that I have, I'm still keeping in no way, shape, or form am I turning them away because I have some really nice, really sweet female clients and they love and support me and so yeah, I definitely wouldn't do that to them but I am telling them, but I'm telling them, you know, for color services and for like, you know, um, chemical services and blowouts and stuff, you know, just let me know on a, a appointment basis but I'm really going to be advertising and talking to men men who want really nice haircuts men who want a great uh, haircut experience very nice atmosphere great quality service a uh, great quality customer service yeah so that's what I've decided to do and you know I've been thinking about some things that you know I can do to offer to step up my game to make my my whole the whole experience a better experience and so uh, the, the type of name for this type of thing is called niche marketing and niche marketing is when you're talking to a Pacific market um, very targeted you know very Pacific and you talk to them and you dive deep within that market okay so I love to cut men's hair so say okay it's like I'm going to start talking to men I'm going to brand myself as a male grooming 
place and a place where um so on my salon lofts website there's vanity and bellow um and it's um male grooming and makeup artistry so those are like the two things that i'm going to focus on this year i'm not really going to focus on um you know blowout shampoo and style i'm not really going to talk to a lot of women i'm only going to talk to women who want their makeup done and i'm only going to talk to men who want a great salon experience so that makes it easy for me to really put all my energy into two things um later in the future i definitely would like to take a class on microblading because i do offer waxing services in my salon for eyebrows i love doing eyebrows i always have and so that is something that i would love to invest in myself later down the road and i'll also you know can focus on the brows with waxing services so yeah guys um in hair school you know we're taught that if we're going to open up a salon you know we need to offer all these things but sometimes it's hard to advertise and you know get clients when we're talking to so many different people who want different types of services and i feel like you know what if you chose something in the hair industry at most three things at most you chose three things and that's all you did in the salon and this kind of thing works because if you look at bigger businesses uh, say like Chick-fil-A you know Chick-fil-A does not offer any beef only chicken if you ask for a hamburger they're gonna tell you no we do not offer hamburger you know if you ask for a taco they're gonna tell you no we do not offer taco if you go to Chipotle and you ask for for a burger they're gonna tell you no we only do burritos uh if you ask for like you know uh you know something that they don't have you know a lot of different restaurants are doing this type of thing where all they do is that and they become an expert in that particular thing so in my community in my city where i work where i service my clients where my salon is located I want to be known as the go-to person for that particular thing. You know, I want to be known as the go-to salon for male grooming. In my city, there's not a lot of places that men can go and get a great haircut, great quality service, you know, book their appointment, you know, not having to wait, and then finding a stylist that's skilled, you know, that takes their time, that knows how to fade, that knows how to blend properly. And how I know this is because I've been living, you know, in my city for, uh, well, not living, I live in a different city now because, you know, we bought a house, but as far as my career i've worked in chapel hill carborough for so many years and i always hear the same thing it's hard to find a person that knows how to fade it's hard to find a person that knows how to do men's hair and then not only do men's hair but it's you know super professional uh, great atmosphere great quality service you know easy access of booking appointments so that's really what my focus is going to be this year is in this particular niche um, male grooming is becoming really big, it's becoming popular, a lot of people are catching on that it's not just women who want a great service, it's men too. Men want to be able to get a, a good, uh, messing up my words, men, there are men who care about their hair, who care about their look, you know, they're into fashion, they're into looking good, you know, they want to, you know, they want to be fashionable too, and this is the market that I'm talking to. Now, there is a market within the male market that just, you know, they're not really big, you know, if the haircut is perfect. You know, there's some men out there who are like, you know, cut it if it looks bad, you know, it'll grow back. Um, you know, they just want to go in, get a haircut. They really don't care. You know, all the other services you offer, they just want to get a haircut and go. You know, I am not talking to those men, okay? So it is very important to know that when you decide to do niche marketing there is a market within that market that you don't want to talk to either so within the male grooming market i'm talking to the business professional the college graduate that's real that wants to look professional you know that wants a great experience that wants to be able to book around their schedule you know i'm talking to busy men who uh like who are super busy who are traveling 
who like to come and relax and you know they to get away from the stress and get a great quality haircut great quality atmosphere great quality experience those are the men that I'm talking to and anyone else who choose to come to me you know that's fine but I know exactly who I'm talking to I can spend all my focus all my effort all my energy on that particular market and so um, you ladies who watch my channel whether you are in a salon suite whatever type of business you have whatever it is you can do this too whatever it is that a service that you provide that you absolutely love to do that it like gives you the greatest joy like so when i'm cutting men's hair and i'm fading it's so relaxing for me it's so therapeutic for me i'm in my zone um my anxiety is down my stress level is down you know i'm just at peace you know whether my client wants to talk whether they don't want to talk i'm good I am just in heaven. I'm in my happy place and I absolutely love it. I even have a sign in my salon that says this is my happy place. And that's why I don't want want to attract every client that's out there. I don't want everybody. Like I don't want everybody coming to me for everything because everything in the hair industry doesn't interest me. Weave certainly does not interest me. Not that anyone who's great at it shouldn't do that. That's not what I'm saying. Doing hair extensions, any type of weave is just not my thing. For one, I'm not good at it. So even if I if I hated it and I was really, really good at it, I might do it, you know? But, you know, I hate it. I'm not good at it. And if I can't guarantee the work and I can't guarantee that it's gonna look good, and you know, if a client's gonna come back and say, hey, you know, this is loosening up, you know, this is sticking up, this is not laying down nice, you know, why would I do it? You know, so that's my thing. I've, I've had a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, a lot of your peers, a lot of different people in the hair industry will tell you what you need to do. Oh, you need to do this, but only you know what within the hair industry you know brings you joy um you know are you a colorist like you do color all day long like that's what gives you the greatest joy then you know then why not become a color specialist you know and have different things like um you know unicorn hair you know all over color ombre you know you focus on a few things do you love to do natural hair do you love to do blowouts do you love to just only cut hair? Do you love to only do eyebrows? Do you love to only do eyelashes? So I'm really excited about trying this this particular type of strategy out because it's something that makes me happy. It makes me feel really, really good. Just like my YouTube channel, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting paid for this YouTube channel. I'm not receiving any type of money. I'm doing it because I found something within my life that I'm passionate about to create a platform to talk on YouTube to help others. And that's what gives me my greatest joy. And eventually the money will come and the money will just be the icing and the cherry on top of the cake, okay? But you you ladies know that no one uh, gets a cake just to scrape off the frosting and eat it, you know? The most important thing that we love is the actual cake itself. And so that's what I really want you to think about when it comes to whatever your passions are, whatever it is you love to do, what drives you in order to be successful at entrepreneurship and, and owning your own business, being a small business owner, you have to find something around your passion. You have to find something that drives you, that gets you up in the morning without receiving a paycheck. It just has to be something that's second nature to you, you know? And so that, and that's what's gonna help you to be successful because when it gets hard, you're gonna keep going because it's something that you love to do and you're not gonna quit. So uh, with, within this hair industry, if you are a hairstylist watching my channel and you're subscribed to my channel and you have a salon suite, uh, I really want you to think about this. Don't be afraid to rebrand yourself. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Don't don't be afraid to change, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's how we grow. And it was just like, I don't know why I didn't think about this when I first moved in my suite because, you know, I've been cutting men's hair for so long. I, I've been just cutting hair in generally for a long time, men or women. But I really didn't find out that I enjoyed cutting men's hair until like, 
you know, two, two to three years within me, you know, uh, within this hair industry, I found out, oh, Amber, you know, you're good at this. Like, that's what you love to do. So I'm going to continue um, from now on. I'm going to go to expos. I'm going to take classes. I'm going to focus on men's grooming, you know, fading techniques, sharpening my skills, razor techniques. I'm going to offer you know, hot towel on the face, you know, massage, shoulder massages, you know, straight face shaves, facial scrub, you know, really getting a great um, product line that I love, different pomades, different shampoos for men's hair. I mean, I'm just really going to focus on this thing, you know, and I'm going to do the best at this particular thing that I can do. Another thing that I want to get into that still has to do with men's grooming is advertising myself you know as a person that does the grooming for men for weddings and um, I don't know if that's being advertised yet or if that's out there but it's an idea that I had last year you know I really want to break into the wedding industry because you know I have the makeup which I already said I'm gonna focus on women who want makeup and men who want a great haircut and so tapping into that bridal industry is gonna put me right at where I want to be grooming men doing makeup and maybe a little you know formal updo here and there but yeah I think this is a great idea I'm super excited I can't wait to give you guys a six month update with what I'm doing but I definitely uh, encourage you ladies you know I always talk about tracking I always talk about assessing where you are where you came from and where you want to go it's boring but you know it has to be done if you can't pay anybody to do it for you you know really look at what you love to do you know what you're passionate about what wakes you up in the morning what's your happy place what service are you providing in your salon where you're like oh I love this this is my happy place whatever that is whether it's one thing whether it's two things whether it's three things I dare you to, to get rid of everything else and focus on those one to three things I'm telling you I think we will see much better success I think our stress levels will be down because we you know we won't be trying to do everything you know what I'm saying like why would I do perms and you know relaxers if that's not what kind of clients I have coming in the door you know why would I be advertising for that you know why would I be buying the products for that out of the box so um really think about if you want to try this strategy really think about two to three one to three things that you love to do and think of, think about if you become a specialist in that and that's all you did and how much more happier you'll be how much more money you'll make because when you start to focus on one to three things you can really do be creative and people will flock to you and you really can charge what you're worth and also another thing is I am going to raise my prices starting January I'm gonna talk about that I'm gonna talk about the way I'm going to you know let my clients know and how I'm gonna go about doing it and how everything turns out I'm just super excited for this coming year and I'm in beast mode I'm working hard I'm just trying to press through and really finish strong this year because I want to come back to you ladies with some great numbers and to show you that it can be done if you give it enough time if you put your faith with your grind it can be done I love you ladies I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video bye